हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज मैंसुरेशन एज वी नो मैंसुरेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स रिलेटेड बी बैंक एस एस सी रेलवे यू पी एस सी सी सैट एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग्स इन ऑल द एग्जाम्स फ्रेंड्स यू कैन फाइंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मैंसुरेशन एंड इफ विल टॉक अबाउट रेलवे एंड एस एस सी देन यू कैन फाइंड मिनिमम फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मैंसुरेशन एंड दैट इज द रीजन मैंसुरेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स friends our today's topic is rhombus so first we will understand what is rhombus and then we will see how we are going to solve the question based on rhombus so friends a rhombus if i draw a figure then rhombus is a quadrilateral then rhombus is a quadrilateral whose four sides are equal whose four sides are equal so friends this will become our this will become our rhombus so this will become our rhombus all four sides are equal so this will be also a so friends rhombus is nothing but so rhombus is a quadrilateral whose all four sides are equal to each other okay and then again this side will become a and again friends this side will become a because all four sides are equal here friends okay then now friends if i'll ask you the perimeter if i'll ask you the perimeter of rhombus then you can say the length of the diagram so a plus a plus a plus a all four sides so 4a so friends perimeter is very much clear now friends if i will ask about the area of area of rhombus area of rhombus then that will be come friends of a into h where h will be nothing but friends where h will be nothing but friends height where h will be nothing but friends height okay so a is nothing but the sides and h will be nothing but heights okay friends now diagonal so let's understand the diagonal how the diagonal will be so friends diagonal if you will see then this is one diagonal this is one diagonal and this is friends one diagonal this is another diagonal and this is friends another diagonal so suppose this is d1 and this is d2 so friends you can clearly say d1 will not be equal to d2 by seeing in the diagram also you can say friends d1 and d2 are not same and friends d1 and d2 in bisect each other so d1 and d2 bisect each other that means friends if suppose this is if suppose if suppose this is o and this is a and this is you put uh, p so friends diagonals bisects each other so friends here you can say here you can write diagonal diagonal bisects bisects each other each other okay friends so the meaning of that is suppose this is o a p and this is uh, will keep b and c so friends when d1 will bisect when d1 will bisect d2 then o p will be equal to o p will be equal to p a and p c will be equal to p b so this o p and p a will be equal and this p c and p b will be equal so this is friend the concept of this is friend the concept of rhombus okay and one more thing friends so this diagonals will be perpendicular to each other that means the angle this angle will be nothing but this angle will be nothing but 90 degree that means this angles will be nothing but 90 degree this angles will be nothing but 90 degree so this is my diagonal 1 so this is my diagonal 1 and you will see diagonal 2 will be perpendicular to diagonal diagonal 1 will be perpendicular to diagonal 2 so friends these are the concept which are very important and if you don't know this concept then it will be very difficult to solve the questions of the the questions of the rhombus friends okay now area of rhombus will be equal to side into height okay now friends area of rhombus area of rhombus in terms of diagonal area of rhombus in terms of diagonal will be 1 by 2 into d1 into d2 so 1 by 2 into your first diagonal into second diagonal and the second formula will be area will be equal to a into h okay friends area will be a into h now these two you have to keep in mind friends and then only we will be able to solve the problem now friends the first question is the perimeter of a rhombus is 56 meter so friends perimeter of rhombus will be equal to perimeter of rhombus will be equal to 4 into sides and that is given 56 meter now friends a will be equal to 56 by 4 which is nothing but 14 meter that means we have got the value of a which is nothing but 14 meter height is given friends height is given friends 5 meter then area then area of rhombus then area of rhombus will be equal to 
a into h area of rhombus will be equal to a into h so 14 into 5 that means 70 meter square that means option b that means option b will be the correct answer for the question number one and this was one of the question from the rhombus friends now friends moving towards the question number two so friends question number two is a very important question so let's read and try to solve so if the diagonal of a rhombus are 24 centimeter and 10 centimeter so friends the rhombus will be the rhombus will look something like this all the four sides will be equal and then this will be our diagonal okay now this is a b c d and this we will assume o okay friends so if the diagonal of the rhombus are 24 centimeter and 10 centimeter so friends the area and the perimeter of the rhombus are respectively so friends area will be easily able to calculate because area will be equal to 1 by 2 into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 so 1 by 2 into 24 into 10 so this is 12 times so 120 centimeter square will be the area now friends we have to calculate now friends we have to calculate the perimeter perimeter means we have to know we have to know the size we have to know the size okay friends now friends i can say from here oa will be equal to so friends we know the diagonal will bisect each other right the diagonal will bisect each other so this will be d1 and this will be d2 now friends we can say oa will be equal to oc oa will be equal to oc and this will be nothing but half of half of ac half of ac half of ac means nothing but half of d1 now friends what is my d1 so d1 is 10 so d1 is sorry d1 is 24 so this will become 12 centimeter now friends ob will be equal to od and this will be nothing but 1 by 2 into b d so 1 by 2 into diagonal 2 so diagonal 2 is nothing but friends 10 so this will become 5 centimeter okay now so friends what we got is we got this so let me use some other pen so we got we got 1 12 and 1 5 okay so friends so friends what will be this so this will be angle this will make a angle of 90 degree so this will make angle of 90 degree so this will make angle of 90 degree so friends, this is 90 degree and one is your 12 and one is your 5 so with the rule of the triangle so this will become 30 so if you calculate hypotenuse then 144 plus 25 and this will be nothing but 169 and this will be nothing but 13 so that means the side which we have got is nothing but 13 centimeter now perimeter will be equal to friends perimeter will be equal to 4 into a so 4 into 13 that means 52 centimeter 52 centimeter and 120 centimeter square will be the correct answer which is nothing but option a so friends i hope you understood the questions of the mensuration and rhombus so thanks a lot for watching the video